Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. How are you all doing? I hope everybody is good. Thank you for watching my last vlog. The weeks just cram into one, right? Does anyone know what week we're up to already in January? I tried to start this week with Mossy, like just having him in with me and doing errands and things like that, but you did it. Like, look, he's with his in-laws right now, my sister-in-law, all their kids. And he has so much fun. And then Tiny goes with him because Zaki doesn't want to miss out. Nail update. I did go back to my technician and got Beauty Pink Almond slash Pinterest trending personified situation. Put on nine nails because my thumb, which I'm still not going to show you, it's not even bad now. Actually, I can. It just looks like, it just looks like a really, really stubby little nail. I'm not going to show you close, but you can see it's shiny uh, because I put, I'll show you later actually. Anyway, I'm going to trade out this bag. I have 10 cameras, so this is my Sony and it's in here. My G7X stays with me on in my uh, briefcase, so we're gonna trade out on this camera and I wanted to show you, I did mention it, I think in my last vlog, this is my new iPhone 14 Pro. The digital chip in this thing is insane, like seriously, it is so good and they had to like wait for it. You've got the little dynamic island up the top, which like tells you what's going on. I'm really, really happy with it. The, the camera is insane. I could just vlog on this. I don't even need my Canon G7X anymore because it's such an amazing camera. However, it is so heavy. It's like the he it's like the weight of a Max, and this is just an I I don't I hate Maxes. I don't need me a mini iPad to take around. Plus, they don't fit in any handbags. This is so heavy, and I'm so... I don't have a case on it. I'm so scared to rest it because of the actual, like, lens of the camera. I don't want to put that down on anything. Then I don't want to put the face down. I don't have a screen protector. So, I want to order the Prada case for it. The Prada case looks so amazing because it stands out. It, protru it protrudes, covers it. You can get the square covers. It's the little, like, square cover that you stick over it and it protects them it's great but the Prada case comes out like that and protects it and it's got a card and it's got actual buttons on the side I don't like any bumpers like unfortunately Vuitton I'm like pointing back like as if Louis Vuitton's behind me Vuitton, <laughs> Louis Vuitton their bumpers you have to like reach in and press the buttons I don't do that I don't do that with nails I need an Oh my god, I'm so high maintenance. Anyway, let's change out this guy. We're gonna change out our mini Palm Springs uh, backpack, which I've been wearing as a backpack. What? I oh, know. I wanted to be, other than crossbody, super hands free, put the two backpack straps on it, and been wearing it as a backpack. Probably the first time maybe ever, but I've been enjoying it. Okay, what are we? Oh, hello friend, did we all like this? Insane, right? So beautiful. I got a comment that I do already have a fuchsia bag in my garden party. It's really hard on cameras. This is a lot darker. This is, this is actually the color that my um, rectangular mini in the chevron quilting was so I don't know how to make it true to true to light it's coming up exactly the same pretty much but it's not this has got a lot more of a pop in it and I correct myself from that video this is lambskin I said it was calf it's not I thought it was I said it was goat skin it's not it's lamb okay I totally forgot to just show that <laughs> I went upstairs to get something that I can't make down. I was like, what am I going to choose? Didn't have the vlog on. Good on you, Jerusha. Okie doke. Um, I chose my jumbo flap. Single flap from Fashion File. And I didn't trade out items, but look at my Samorka bag organizer. So my phone is reflecting in the black slip pocket. Even though it fit, that is my beautiful jumbo Samorga organizer, which is just perfect. It's just perfection, you know? And as I said in my last Chanel unboxing, it just makes you so happy. They're taken care of. 
Well, it makes me happy, that's for sure. Okay, so this is what the setup is. Here is my little smorgasbord with my sharps bag. <laughs> so that's another thing is that if you had sharps, it's protected. It's like genius. Here is the OPI color that I got. It's the gel color that I told you, uh, baby, take a vow. This is the color that is on top of my nails. I also got some Amazon. I'll link it below. Here's my Kira Sky LED lamp. One finger under and it's set. I recommend this for Gel X nails. Oh my god, I can't believe they're in salons. Don't even get me started. You can just do Kira Sky yourself at home. Why would anyone pay for that? I have no idea. Then you have to soak them off. Just get Kira Sky, get the three set, the builder, the top coat and the primer, and then do it yourself. It's like don't pay for that girl and here is my e-file i'll link these all below you can get them off amazon jella e-file this is literally almost like commercial standard what's in the salons this is for my thumb i just wanted to talk you through it <laughs> as soon as i started this whole vlog explaining it so my thumb doesn't have a nail on it it doesn't even have a nail so it's just skin on skin these are my kira sky jelly tips this is just I have made them into this almond shape to match my thumb. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint it with the gel top coat and use my press-on jelly stickers. So these, and they're really adhesive. Again, from Amazon, I will link them below. Literally, they came in and are like, 1200 piece pack so it's just like never ending and they're all sizes and they're really adhesive meaning i can do the dishes be with the kids and everything and they won't they literally stay on grab the thumb size like here stick it on the kiriskai nail and put it on my thumb so when I film, when I'm going out, I have nine nails. This is my temporary measure while I don't have a thumb. It's all I can do. If you are having any nail problems and you need to protect your finger or your skin and you can't get acrylics or gels, that's another thing I really think they're so bad for your nail. Everything is bad for your nails. Don't believe SNS, don't believe shellac, don't believe bio tips, gel X. No, everything, if you're gonna put something on top of your original nail, everything is gonna make your nail rubbish underneath. Okay, you're gonna sit in the salon, they're gonna e-file your nail and it's gonna burn. You're gonna put it under an LED light and it's gonna burn because they go brittle, that's it. So don't think there's a better option, there isn't. Just don't put anything on your nails because I highly recommend them if you want to like protect your nails or like just to have a part-time kind of solution. These are them. They're so good and they're really adhesive. It really is a beautiful color. Like look at that. It really, really is pretty. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. I'm just like getting the boys dinner. I'm like, I showed them everything I wanted to show them. No, this is the Sally Hansen. 71 that I've been putting on my nail bed. Um, I have a Vita nail as well, and that's really, really good. But this is almost like, because it's like a clear polish, it just creates, I don't know, almost like a barrier, like almost like a clear polish. And I, I paint it on the raw skin, like the skin bed. I just paint it on and over. In a couple of days, it just dissolves, but it's really good. So it's the 71, I'll link it below. on the floor or start stretching they jump on him this is life when i'm hoovering dicing dicing when i'm vacuuming and we and we are your best friend and we're lifting up the couches to vacuum the biscuits <laughs> where I find him on his iPod and headset because I have one screen boy 
and one playing games boy. Does anyone else have that? He'll watch any screen, any phone, anywhere. And he just wants to faff around and play with these toys. Oh my God, while mommy's cleaning, we're playing houses. Knock, knock. Hi. Hello. Can you come in my house? Yeah, sure. Oh my God, you really did redecorate. Yeah. I love what you did with the place. This is amazing. Yeah. Hey, phone boy, did you see what Zaki did with your house? How long have you two lived in your bachelor pad together? Um, three years. Oh, look. Three years? <laughs> I, I think I don't. Okay, see you later. When I come next time, you're going to have a coffee for me? Okay. All right, see ya. Bye, guys. Oh, my God, I love that. It looks fantastic. <laughs> There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Well, well, well I remember that video that Zachy was trying to make the bag out of gold. Oh, really? I cut that one out. Cut that one out. No. We're telling the vlog what we're doing. So, say hi, guys. Hi, hi your friends. This, actually, let me put my seatbelt on so I match you. Oh, my God. Why did Hello, This is my beautiful little why niece, why Saba. Keep falling my little angel. And we are doing our bad girls. High five. And then that's the boys in the back, but that's okay, they can stay in the back. <laughs> They're not a part of this video, I think. They're not part of the cool club of the girls. Bad girls. Wait, mommy, do it again. Okay. Okay. I'm so late, you sip wine, I drink straight, don't waste time to my place. Just at mum's house ran, ran away from the four kids no my sister-in-law came and picked up her kids my boys um, are at preschool and Mussy's with will but we've just come to Jillian's because she's at my brother's and he lives in Canberra which is like the next city and we have to feed the goldfish Mussy has goldfish here I don't think I'm doing a very good job because look how cloudy the water is my best friend Melissa told me to don't worry goldfish will like live forever without food <laughs> they're Mussy's goldfish but I won't let any pets in my house because I have so many deep-rooted issues so they live here this is called Miles Borellis and the other one's called um, Iron Man <laughs> Tony Stark, yeah that's right <laughs> Come every morning and feed the fish Is Jillian's instructions And we do whatever Jillian says We have our coffee so everything's fine Good morning 
How is everybody? I have a secret to tell you. This car is making a very, very odd noise. Kind of something along the lines of the brakes aren't working. That's never good. Will doesn't want to know anything about it. If you watch my vlogs, remember the little Mercedes he got me. He told me that he, I have to keep it and sell the Range Rover. I think if you watched that vlogs, you may have remembered. I told him no, I'm keeping this. I love my car. You guys remember, I was like, I love my car, I love my car. Now it seems like the brakes don't want to work. You might be rocking, I'm sorry about that. You're only on a grip pad. Um, I am taking my uh, shot. I think in this vlog or the other vlog I showed you my green juice. These are the um, Juice Lab shots. So the Juice Lab wellness shots. They have so many different ones. I showed you Will taking focus, which is just like straight turmeric ginseng. Oh, it's brutal. It's intense. This is digestion. I like all of them. I'll drink anything. I'm good. My dad used to grow kombucha. He would buy the fungus, whatever, from the health food store or wherever you get it from. God only knows. And he used to grow kombucha. He put it on top of the whatever the water and he'd cover it with like muslin and it grows and it ferments the whole water underneath. So we're going to have some of this this morning and head to the gym. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It just tastes like an office acai bowl. Anyway, wanted to come on this vlog. I have been asked a lot a lot to tell my truthful opinion about Vuitton about Louis Vuitton and what they're doing what is their direction why are they doing things like this Kusama Yeo Kusama beautiful lady amazing artistic genius that's great I am not putting her talent down at all. Apparently, the story goes that she lives in dots. She sees, through her eyes, she sees life in dots. That's cool for you, babe. You do that. You do your dots. However, this is my problem. When a house does a collaboration, a creation collaboration and they work with another designer or another artist like this or they have a designer that comes on the team like Virgil may he rest in peace amazing when a house does this it's great it's so different the first time <laughs> if you want to beat a dead horse like over and over again that's good you're not getting my money okay we are going to the gym uh just a um general pants t-shirt <laughs> my adidas these are just um track adidas not originals um but these are so cool because they're like army print um and my these are originals so these are adidas originals in the slides and this is new it's so cute so this is it again it's adidas track um if i can find it, i'll link it below it's just like a crop and it's in this velour like striped velour which i think is so cute obviously if you've got like a tiny little waist it'll look so cute on you then you know you have your your booty little Crop shorts if you're like 18 years old, whereas not a mum of two. So track is standard and then originals is like, they tried to a little bit more bougie. Okay, good morning friends. Um, do you remember that scene if you watch Sex and the City where Carrie says to Samantha, Oh, you got glasses. Are they the ones you find in the chemist? 
in the drugstore and she's like, these are Chanel. I always think that. Because everyone thinks they have mum's glasses, but mum's glasses are Prada and mine are Chanel. Mum, we just came to look at our couch. I've ordered a new couch for the TV room. And mum said, how do these places make any business? Like in these homemaker centers, how do people shop and like buy any of this stuff? And I went, that's how. <laughs> that is the Beverly Hills Boutique. And they've obviously rendered a giraffe into it. Stop. Mum goes, it's half off. I'll go check it for you. That's, yeah, wow. Look at some of these. Vintage from Paris, Dior and Chanel. It's a Paris boutique. Not now. Maybe it's a Monte Carlo boutique. Wow, well, stunning. These have to be the world's biggest <laughs> parental scam in the world to put two, three dollars in a pretend moving Scooby-Doo vehicle to entertain your kids. Welcome to Parenthood. Uh, welcome to Portofino. Welcome to, welcome to Monte Carlo. Look at some of this ass. Let's get some boudet. No, she hasn't had a BBL. Everybody asks her. You two stand together. Look at the shit. Are we doing the vlog? Oh. You already, Jane, you're already on the vlog permanently, mate. Oh, you like the vlog. Let's see, boys, stand together. So this is the New Year party slash the end of January New Year party. <laughs> Willie's a bit late to the celebrations over here at Lucky and Peps. We celebrated the end of January for New Year. Hey, Malosh, show me. Everybody is in head to toe white except for Nanny Mel. <laughs> Stop! I love this vibe. Let's see. So we got a little, we got a little mesh, pretty little things. Yes, sort of like a sheen. I'm gonna try and link to these. I'll, I'll find it. A little, a little pretty little things moment. A little bit of linen here on Ether. A little bit of booty. Yes. This is a vibe. They're going on a boat. Okay, guys. Isn't there a song about that? I'm on a boat. <laughs> and then this is the superhero of the vlog. Say hi. This is my little blue boy. He's going back to school next week. I told you guys last week we stay with each other full time. Full time, right? Look at the white party! We gotta get a photo. Marcy and I just stopped at urgent care at the hospital up here we had some leftover <laughs> there was some leftover um say hi Missy. there was some leftover croissants and um some like banana bread and banana uh sorry um carrot cake and things like that so Massey and i just brought it to the hospital at urgent care for the nurses and the doctors and everything there was literally like big packs I'll put the cutaway Lucy nanny Lucy took some shots on the boat for their Christmas party but there was so much left over and Will was like just you know have it at home well it will go to waste so I brought it up to the hospital the nurse just started crying <laughs> oh my god that's so lovely she was like oh my god you thought of us I was like hell yeah girl I want you to have we just our restaurant had a party and she was like oh my god that's so nice good deed done Mussy. high five <laughs> Get high five you gotta do good deeds in life okay those nurses and doctors are taking care of urgent people's 
like ER all the time, okay? Okay? You gotta learn it in life. Hey! Mossy and I, Mossy, Mr. Pajama Head, do you wanna show the vlog your pajamas? <laughs> Mussy went with Daddy this morning instead in of being with me every time. Daddy's in his Game of Thrones pajama shirt. They just ran to do errands really early and go to the restaurant in their full pajamas, which is it's a vibe. We're going to get bubble tea I for Mummy. You can have a soft serve, correct? believe it I think I've just broken this camera gauge in brightness or contrast how about now okay great <laughs> another G7X no thank you okay updates the children we are back from shopping I have done a nail and Put it on it is a little bit whiter than the rest obviously because it's Kira Sky I will link to jelly tips below I understand how gel X nails have become a thing how have gel X nails become a thing in salons why are you paying money for that Kira Sky I will link them all below these are jelly tips obviously these are ridiculously long, extra long coffin, Kira Sky jelly tips. I have shaped it. Oh my gosh. Let me show you. You can see it's much wider because obviously there's no, it's not adhesive to my actual skin because there isn't any nail there. So it's a lot whiter so that I have a nail because what was happening, it is such a nub because there's no nail there that I was just banging it and it was just starting to really hurt so I put a nail on I'm testing it this week just to see how we go and then that way I have it for filming and just obviously not looking like I have a permanent nub um what are some other updates okay guess what I don't know if I've done this before and shown it on a vlog my memory is getting so bad okay Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I am going to go and get eyelash extensions tomorrow. I've done this before, but I can't remember. But I've always said I shouldn't waste my money on it because I rub my eyes so badly. I'm an eye rubber. I sleep with an eye patch over my eyes, which might be a good thing because you don't blink and you don't rub your face. But... I don't know, we'll have to see. It might be a complete waste of money, but I'm just gonna go down to my nail technicians. They do it. It's probably the cheapest form of a full set of eyelash extensions, so they're probably not that great, but I'd rather test on a cheaper set, if that makes sense, than really go out and spend some like serious money at like a lash bar or whatever, and I'll just rub them off. We're gonna do that tomorrow, and of course, I'll take the vlog with me. I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs on my last one which I uploaded day before yesterday everyone was just sort of saying we love it we love long vlogs I'm a vlog watcher too I know it's it depends with YouTube it's so what you like to watch you either like to watch people's lives in vlogs and just have them you know doing their life and it's just nice and it's relaxing and you get to know the person that's the thing or Maybe you're just all a sit-down video type of unboxing, showing your handbags, 
doing makeup tutorials with makeup gurus uh, it just depends YouTube's for all different things I know that the like instant gratification of reels and shorts and TikToks is just crazy but there's a lot of you out there who can't get into it and to be honest I can't Will sends me so many TikToks a day like really funny mostly mocking marriage because they're hilarious which they are um, just and he loves it I'm I'm different I think when you work on social media it's totally different I want to find things that I vibe with and I like to watch you know when the boys are just chilling I'll get on the couch and watch like I said Debbie's vlogs or something like that that I enjoy watching like I love Lydia's vlogs everyone loves Lydia's vlogs hi Lyd she's so gorgeous oh my god I, I I vibe with a lot of London vloggers I think that's just because of my background but anyway I know I'm rambling so I will take you along with me we got that in the morning pretty early actually it's 6 30 p.m. right now in Australia but this is our 6 30 p.m. So daylight saving. So the dead of summer, even though it's been a really cool, even though it's been a really cool summer, this is our 6.30. So try telling little baby kids that it's dinner time and bedtime. Hell. We are here. Let's draw before. Ding, ding. I'm pretty sure I've had this done before. Have we tried this, guys? Have we? Have the vlog, have we on the vlog tried lash extensions before and it's been a failure. See, I'm already rubbing my eyes. I just, I'm an eye rubber. Maybe it helps you get out of. This is a before, let's go in and do it. Okay guys, let's have a look. Ding. Ooh, yes honey, I have not had these before. Okay, memory bad, but I have definitely not had eyelash extensions before because girl firstly you need to have your <laughs> phone or ipod or whatever you listen to music on because it takes an hour i snagged another bubble tea or cha time because they're so delicious and refreshing and it is 100 degrees today it is so hot today in sydney i'm going to end this vlog here it was kind of all over the place um one two three it was kind of all over the place i'm sorry about that again i think if you watch vlogs you watch vlogs you know what they're about they're just kind of like you know life in general uh but yeah thank you so much for watching them i just spoke to my youtube manager that i deal with at google and she said she was looking at analytics and she said that I have on the actual metrics 3.5 million views happening 1.5 million of those viewers are not subscribed to my channel what she was like literally just giving me analytics oh my god please go ahead and hit the subscribe button I would super appreciate that guys um, and also if you don't watch my sit down videos which that's cool I do giveaways, I give away Chanel, so please uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up if you like vlog guy, vlogs guys. I'm going to have my bubble tea now, I will see you in my next video, take care, peace. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go.